Jesse Krishna. Everyone can have a seat at this time. On behalf of the Patel family, I would just like to take a moment to thank all of you for being here. I just want to remind everyone if you can please just silence your cell phones throughout the duration of the service. And for the first 45 minutes, I just want to allow everybody, if you would like to come up for darshan, uh, you're more than welcome. We will start the puja approximately 10.30. Um, once the puja starts, we ask that everyone remain seated uh, so that we can take care of all of the rituals and last rites. Uh, so at this time, we'll just have a time of bhajans and, and mantras. And if anyone would like to speak at any point, um, I will coordinate that with Dupesh. Uh, so on behalf of the family, thank you so much for being here today during this very difficult time. Uh, on behalf of myself, my staff, I just want to offer my condolences once again to the family. You're all in my prayers. Thank you for allowing us to take care of your beloved Gunwant. Thank you. Thank you. 
Everyone is more than welcome. If you'd like to come forward, we ask that you come from our left-hand side, and the basket of flowers will be here. And then if you wish to greet the family.
Good morning. Um, for those that don't know, I'm uh, Gurnwan's son. I want to thank you, everybody, for coming today. Pay your final respects and your condolences to my father. Many of you have known him for years. And as you know, we're all going to miss him, especially me and my family. I had a lot of things to say today, but it's just, it, it's just a shock to me. This happened on Monday, and I've just been trying to deal with it. My, my emotions come and go, and they have been coming and going all week. I, just, I, I, I miss him, and from, from my heart, my family's heart, this is Kimber, my son, I want to thank everybody for being here and, and paying your final respects and condolences to my father. Um, I think everybody knows that he was a good man. He, he worked hard and he always was there for everybody, right? No matter what you, you needed or wanted, he was there for you. So I think we all appreciate for him being in our lives and being there for every one of us and making an impact on our lives. So with that, I'm gonna hand it off to the rest of my family and, and friends and whoever else wants to make speeches. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for coming here to celebrate my dad. Life. Our dad has always been, been, been there, not only for his, his family, but for others too, as my brother already mentioned. He's always been there. He, he was a genuine person. who truly cared for everybody. And no matter what, he was always there helping anybody in any situation, no matter what. My dad was traveled, loved to travel. He never missed an opportunity to travel to Chicago to visit me and my family. Dad, I love you. We will greatly miss you. I'll always remember our precious moments of life spent together. You will always be forever loved and missed and in our hearts. We love you.
love you, Gundula. I love you. I like when when you <laughs> came to my classroom. <laughs> I liked it when you came to my classroom to talk about Africa. You really made a special day for me and my friends. I liked it when you dropped me off to school every single day of my life. And I love playing games and stop anything with you. I love you. God bless. Jesha Krishna. Love Gunga was my favorite person. He would always be the one to take me to school and be, was by my side throughout my life. I wish I was able to have more time with him, but the memories we have made these past few years will last a lifetime. I, I am thankful to have someone like Gunda that in my right corner, he will forever live in my heart. I am going to miss him more than words, but I know he will always be with me no matter what. Gunda was not only my just my dada, but he was also my best friend. I didn't get to see him as often as I lived the furthest away, but that's what made me cherish every moment I had with him every time I got to see him. Gunda has been there for every big moment in my life, and I could never be more grateful to have someone like him. From watching me grow up to almost being able to watch me graduate high school, he's been there for all of it and every accomplishment in my life and was for him. Gunada was the most hardworking person I've ever met and seen. He was constantly active from gardening to playing with Milo whenever the rascal wanted to play, to driving Tadaba along with everyone else to wherever they needed to go. Not only was he hardworking, but he was also the coolest person ever. I remember countless times when we were younger where he would bring up soda for all of us when our parents would not. He would not only help, help me, but everyone around him, whatever they needed. When it came to cars, Gundala was my go-to. Because he was always willing to help, and he wouldn't just tell me, he would also help, show me what to do. Gundala never failed to put a smile on all of our faces, and his presence always lit up the room and made everything 10 times better. A quote that will always stick with me is that the, never, the, ne the dead never truly die, they simply change form. Although we may never be able to see Gunnada again, his spirit and love will never disappear. I am forever grateful for everything Gunnada did for me and all the memories of him will never be forgotten. I will always love you. Hello, my name is Abhishek. Gunnada has been by my side ever since I was a little baby. When my parents were working, he was there to help take care of me. I remember times when I was in elementary school, and I was so excited to see him pick me up from school and get me McDonald's. He was a hardworking individual who never stopped until something was done right. Sometimes when I needed help fixing my car, he was the first person I would call. I was able to travel to Greece with him, and it was great to see him smile. It was fun going to the beach with him and seeing him try new things. He was somebody I knew that I could always count on to be there whenever I needed him. It's not going to be the same without him, seeing every day, but I know he was always going to be with, he's always going to be with me. He always taught me to work hard and learn from my mistakes. I'm just grateful that I was able to create loving memories with him. He was the best grandpa ever and I love him so much. thank everyone for coming to celebrate the life of a very special person to us. <laughs> there will never be enough words to describe the loss of an amazing grandpa. He was always someone who, who was always on the go if that was fixing cars or helping Ma with gardening. He was always, you can't read it. He was always doing something. He loved all of his grandkids more than anything from driving us 
everywhere when we were kids to just sitting on the couch with us watching CNN because we were too scared to ask him to switch it. We always used to call him the baby whisperer and now the dog whisperer with Jasper and Milo. We were all going to miss him tremendously. Even though he never showed emotions, we always knew he was always happy when he was around us. Gunada taught me to always work hard and never give up. He also told me that I needed to learn Gujarati better, so I will make that my goal to learn it better for him. I don't have a single favorite memory with him because every moment I spent with him was my favorite. I'm going to miss him more than words can describe. It's never going to be the same without him, but I know he will always be looking down on all of us, cheering us on in all of our accomplishments. I am thankful for all the memories I have gotten to share with Gunada, and even though I wish I had more time, I'm grateful that he was my grandfather. I promise to look after Ba and stay strong for both of you. I love you forever, Gunada. You are forever in my heart. start with a memory that I have of him that I hold very dearly. Um, as some of you may know, I have been interested in the arts and fashion for a very long time, and I wanted to start working, and so I, when, I, when I was 16, I emailed every designer in New York begging for an internship, and I got a few responses, and my parents wouldn't let me come to the city given my age, um, and so who stepped in to take me to every single interview with Nada um, and let me drag him around? Midtown New York on like a 90 degree summer day um, and sat with me at every single interview and I ended up getting one and that's how it all started. Um, and even though he was a man of a few words, his actions always spoke volumes and he was always there for all of us to take his places both figuratively, figuratively and literally um, and to teach us anything and everything in his own silently strong way. He was one of our best role models um, and the calm through numerous storms. And I'm not quite sure what we'll do without him now, but I know that I wouldn't be who I am and where I am today without him. <laughs> it feels surreal to say that he's not here anymore, and that I'll never forget the impact he's had on me, nor will I ever stop loving him. I just want to say a couple of words for my son, Simon. Um, he, he's, he's definitely going to miss his, his grandpa. You can say it. I am the youngest minion of the greatest love of our life, Gunod Pailal Bay Patel. As we gather here today, we see, we see friends and family that have traveled or absorbed from great distances to be here with us for Papa. We are extremely humbled and appreciative of how much it, he touched each and every one of our lives. I can definitely attest to how he touched my life and the two words that come to mind immediately are admiration and affection. There are not, not enough words to express or describe the lovely person Papa was, but these two definitely top the list. So where do I start? with the heartfelt tribute I asked myself today. Let's start from the beginning when a baby is born and the parents need to name them. Well, my Ba and Dada obviously knew 
how to name Papa because you know he was going to make a tremendous impact in the world that we live in. So they decided to name him Gunwant. I'm not sure. Um, however, we decided to call him and you know speak to him as Gundada. Now, Gun in Gujarati means traits, values, and Gunwant means pure, able, qualified. So as you can see. This just about says everything about Papa and the type of person he was. Papa was the most compassionate, genuine, sincere, handsome, loving, hardworking, and generous person anyone could have known. Papa could be awoken from his sleep any time of the day, no matter what you know it was and what he was asked to do. He did it with a smile and pleasure, and it just didn't occur to him that you know what's going to happen the next day or next. He, he immediately would just come to anybody's rescue at any moment in time. The magnitude of the impact that he made in the lives of each and every person that is gathered here today just speaks volumes to the type of person Papa was, as you've already heard. Papa was there for me and my children my entire childhood and motherhood life. He helped raise my four beautiful children and never missed an opportunity to run to my beck and call whenever we needed him. Most importantly, Papa was there for anyone, be it family, friend, relative, not related, anybody, even a person on the street. His nature was so genuine that he could make friendships with random people and somehow, some way, find some sort of relation with that individual. You could always count on Papa to lend a helping hand. The positive energy from Papa was infectious and extended beyond the four walls of any room he was in. In short, Papa was a man who led life to the fullest in everything he did. Despite the troubles of his childhood, geographical location, Papa was successful at anything he put his mind to and was an incredibly optimistic person. He was always up, upbeat, positive, and one of the sweetest souls anyone ever encountered. Papa always had a smile on his face and a kind word to say and was such a loving man and lived for, for his wife, three children, and seven grandchildren. He was proud of his life, his children, grandchildren, and they could never do no wrong. Neither could I, for that matter. Um, Papa never once let what happened in his childhood upbringing or anything in life make him bitter or negative. Instead, he built a new life for himself and jumped into it full bore, bore with both feet and nothing but optimism whichever country he moved to. You know the saying, where there is will, there's a way? Well, if you could count on Papa to impro improvise any situation, issue, or problem to make it work, he could do it. Papa's legacy will live on in all of us that are here today, near and far. Papa left us at the ripe age of 81 and was simply an incredible man who led an amazing life. Papa was a prominent car physician, intelligent, world traveler, multilingual, jack of all trades, and a force to be reckoned with. Papa was a loving husband and father. His peaceful passing at the age of 81 is all the more remarkable in the context of his life. My fondest memories of our Papa was when we were in England. Every Friday, you know, in the summer, he would take us to the grocery store and buy us cake and ice cream. And of course, he had to have his beer for the hard working week that he had. The other fondest memory that I have is when we went to Greece. I've never seen my dad go into the ocean and he decided to go into the ocean. He was so happy to put his feet in the water. It was just the best cherished moment I will ever, you know, forever remember. United we stand today as we aspire to fulfill some of the traits that Papa left with us. We love you immensely, Papa. Om Shanti. So, Nimish and I went to school together. That's where I met her. So you probably, would, I cheated every time I went to school and exam. I, I promise I didn't copy that speech, but I might say the same things. Uh, and uh, yeah, the notes match up exactly. Um, thank you for joining us to celebrate the life of my father-in-law, husband, brother, amazing friend to every one of us. I want to say a few things in the memory of my father-in-law. We lost an amazing human. Me and Misha lost a lot.
we lost a deep foundation of our family, our biggest cheerleader. I didn't realize what a cheerleader, cheerleader he was for us. But he, but the WhatsApp ma have to so much for the care. Papa hoy, father hoy, father cheerleader badana. Amaro chokro, badan bola ke jo amaro chokro. Hmm, jamai, amaro jamai. Dan dan le jai mana ke? Amaro jamai. Biggest cheerleader. I mean, but then I came with my chokri, my chokro, my jamai. He's very proud of us. I'm fortunate to be given a gift in life to be fully interconnected with Gumba. I consider myself I'm extremely lucky. I'm lucky. By bando che, un story gani wa sambru father and lani. Unto bona si baro to, bona si baro. Let me talk about GB. I've known him for 25 years. If he spent time, 25 years, the most with someone, is with me. I'm not covering any kind of suicide. I'm not going to stay married to that person. You need to spend time with me. You need to spend time with me. You need to be there every day for me. He was a self-starter. Moved from Africa to UK to America, restarting his life many times, every time successful in all aspects of life. Not only himself, but made sure the family was successful, all his friends were successful. He was extremely patient and calm. Nothing I am. I envy that. Extremely patient. He can hold time still. Very organized, extremely dependable, and put the service of others ahead of himself. As a professional, everyone knew him as a great car mechanic, all self-taught, didn't have proper schooling. Better than any mechanic in the world. Better than any mechanic in the world. More like an innovative engineer, a top-level surgeon, amazing eye, hand feet coordination. He can dissect anything. He can, you can go to him and say, this is my car, what's wrong? You don't need technology, he'll tell you. Extremely honest. Didn't know the business of money. Didn't care. Didn't know the business of money. To him, he was more happy with a handshake and a smile and talking about how he helped someone. He was more happy that I'd help someone. That's what he loved to brag about, I helped someone. Men of little words, but you always remember your conversations with them and you look forward to meeting him again. But I was like, I was like, I was like, I was like, His fun and relaxing needs were Hindi songs. Old movies, you watch the same movie over and over again. As Ria said, we stopped the, the <laughs> watching uh, feed of the Indian movies, so he started putting on CNN. Watch CNN over and over again. And he drank a few beers. He needed to drink his beer. But he was a, a lightweight. Only had one or two beers. And he just had this natural control. He would stop, you know. A couple of times I got yelled at for getting him drunk on wine because he couldn't handle wine. He only needed his beer. Um, and he liked traveling, traveled the world. S seen everywhere, took the family with him. He had his prejudices, but in words, not in action. I mean, the boy would I have China on him. But let him cover it. China no mouth, carab. China kid dunya bagari karse. 
Yeah, it is prejudice. But in words, generation. He had a soft arrogance to him. I would see him talking to his friends and family members, and he would tell them that he was better than them, just to inspire them, to get the most out of them. He would tell them he's better than them. He didn't hold back. He said, that, he said it the way it was. He said, look at you, you're weak. I'm a real man. I can fix a big car. You can't fix a toy car. He would say the way it is. He was a man's man, as he said in boys. He was a man's man. And he will let you know in a soft, gentle way. Greet God by his looks. Probably didn't lose a single hair in his life. Very youthful looking. Amazing energy, stamina. Never complained about anything. Never asked for help. He would feel weak if he had to ask his kids for help. If he feel weak if he had to ask his kids for anything. He didn't want any help from anyone. I have my own hands, he said. I have my own legs, I have my strength. I can take care of myself. This mindset was a problem for me to solve. I couldn't solve that. I tried to offer everything. He said, no, I can do it myself. He treated us better than himself. He treated us better than himself. He took care of us better than himself. He was a better man than me in many ways. He raised all four of my kids more than I did. He blossomed them to, blossomed them to be amazing individuals. He often picked up my kids from school, you heard them. The school gets out at three o'clock, he'd leave home at one. And I asked him, why, why do you leave so early? Because he said, I want to be the first one. I want to be the first one in line for your kids. I don't want them to wait outside in the cold. And this one, I cannot cry. He treated his little princess better than I could ever do. He was always there for Nimisha. He never let her down. She could always depend on him more than me. So often I always ask myself, this amazing man, why does he put me in this pedestal, Amaro Jamai? Treats me with so much respect. He led by example, showed me what commitment was. He led by example, growing me as a human. We had a lot of fun. We celebrate a lot of things together. All of us did a great job. All of you did a great job finding time with him. We had amazing memories together, many drinking days, drinking beer, drinking wine, traveling many times to Chicago, London, India, Greece, and this great island of Van Day Club. And more and more that was planned. But I know him, he, he, he wants us to keep going, keep going. He had no regrets, clean hearted. He enjoyed everything with every, every day with all of us. We are comforted by your presence here with us to celebrate his life and share your memories. Thank you for your prayers and your wishes. Jai Krishna. As Manish said, he used to love Indian music, so we have a very special tribute from Veer. It's a very old song by Lata Mangeshkar. It's called Ekka Pyar Ka Nagama Hai. He will be playing that on his violin.
got one more. One more. For those of you that have arrived a little bit later, we ask that everyone just remain where they are throughout the duration of the puja. Once the puja has been completed prior to cremation, those of you that have not had an opportunity to come forward for darshan will have time to come forward uh, prior to cremation. Thank you.
आदिदेव नमस्तोप्यम प्रसिद्ध नमो भास्कर दिवाकर नमस्तोप्यम प्रभाकर नमो अस्तुते ओ ब्रिंग सूर्याय नमः 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 ओ Sampai jumpa di video selanjutnya. 
भूत नाम पिंड पदों पश्चिता साधक नाम पिंड मदों पश्चिता शेष पूर्वत गोम काम देव काम जैम काम जैव प्रसिद्ध परमेश्वर सुरक्षिता केसर दास सुरक्षिता भक्ता अनुहारण परमेश्वर बाल्या दिनी सुगंध दिनी मजा दिनी दान पूजा दिनी कुशपानी प्रतिवेदम सर्वाप शादी के सामने लोकल जा दीवार में सुप्यम वास सुप्रतिवेदम अनेना पिंड दाने ना तस्य प्रेत तत्व दिव्रुति उत्तम लोक का प्राप्त मरा स्तुति
Vlastně mi bylo, že tvá hlas, vlastně nápouš a už mi dá hlas, vlastně nárek se vlastně to mě mě.
यारिकानि जब पाप आने जब मान तक सूत आने जब तानी शरुवाने में शिष्य तू प्रदक्षिण पढ़े पढ़े पाप हम पाप कर्म हम पाप हम पाप संभव हम प्राणी मम को दलित कार्य हम सर्व पाप हो सर्व भाषी If anyone uh, still needs to do darshan, please, please come forward.
We're waiting on the crematorium. Manga. Okay. We're not ready yet, so they're gonna let us know. Okay, with the music on. Huh? Mm -hmm. The music. Yeah, it's with the uh, Christine phone. She's using it with a call. Can I connect my phone? Yeah, you can connect it. I mean, it's directly if you looking for the.
James Cohn.